On the crime surge across the nation, Lieutenant Tracy McRae is vice president of the San Francisco Police Officers Association, where yesterday we saw, you know, basically a smash and grab, pretty sophisticated with getaway cars at a, a Neiman Marcus, I believe, and then Target stores announcing that they're going to reduce operating hours because they've been experiencing significant and alarming rise in theft and security incidents in their stores. What do you see? You're right. You're, you're correct. This is what we've been seeing. Uh, this is not new. So now you have people whose hours have been cut at these stores. They're going to miss out on money in their check for their daily living activities, paying mm -hmm. rent, buying food, clothing. Are, I'm not surprised by it, and no one should be. That's a great point that you bring up, that um, the people that are working at this, uh, an honest job, that they're going to be hurt because now they're not going to be able to work as many hours. It's a great point. Right, it is. It's in that Neiman Market scene was something out, like out of a movie. But that's happened at Saks Fifth Avenue, Louis Vuitton stores. Uh, someone made the comment, oh, these are only fancy bags. But guess what? People are working at that store who depend on a paycheck. And if they close, there's no guarantee that they're going to find another job, that they're going to be able to pay their rent, do their daily living activities. So this is much more than someone stealing a bag. Lieutenant, we first met you a month ago. Remember when that CVS was robbed in the middle of broad daylight, right? They had the iPhone cameras in the aisle. A guy was filling up an entire garbage bag of stuff and riding out of the store on his bicycle. Um, things haven't gotten better. No, but that's been happening every day. They were just able to catch that one on video, but that's happened yesterday. That's probably going to happen today. This is something that is going on that people know about, but you just saw it up close and personal. But this is an everyday occurrence. It must be super frustrating for you. Here's a former San Francisco police commissioner on what you're facing out there in San Francisco. We're in a state of chaos and anarchy out here in San Francisco. And if you ever lived here, if you spent any time here, you see it every day and you just come to expect it and hope that when it happens, you're not in the line of fire. It's one of, you know, I've always loved San Francisco, and it really is, it's sad what is happening all over the country, but in your city, you know, when you get a call about a theft or a burglary, how, how's the response? Like, do you think, well, we just know the prosecutors are basically going to turn them loose? They're not going to do anything about it? Hey, they still under $950. Like I said before, you get a citation, right? There are no consequences to hold people accountable because excuses are what is given out by certain politicians. In a sense, I feel like that character Scar from The Lion King, I'm surrounded by idiots because they say the most idiotic things to justify bad behavior. And so chaos runs supreme here. Lieutenant, I want to read this statement from Target. I, I don't know if I've ever heard a statement like this from an American company. Uh, yeah. m maybe you have. For more than a month, we've been experiencing a significant alarming rise in theft and security incidents at our San Francisco stores, similar to reports from other retailers in the area. With the safety of our guests, team members, and communities as our top priority, we've temporarily reduced our operating hours in six San Francisco stores. Has that ever happened before? No, that's not a business model plan. You're in business to make a profit. And now you're reducing hours, lessening your profits, because people are coming to your stores and cleaning you out. Why would you stay open? Who would do that in their right mind? Yeah. Lieutenant, come back soon, okay? And we really appreciate the SCAR reference, okay? Yeah. Anytime, all right? Tracy, <laughs> you're the best, Tracy. Thank you. Thanks.